So we're going to look at how to calculate a probability of somebody having a height greater than my own, which is 67 inches. So you may recall from the example that we've been looking at, we have an average for the population of college females with a height of 65 inches and a corresponding standard deviation of 2.7 inches. So for college females, we have an average height for the population of 65 inches and a corresponding standard deviation of 2.7 inches. My height is 67 inches, and today we're interested in calculating the probability that somebody has a height higher than my height or greater than my height, which is 67 inches. Now we have to put this probability into units that the curve understands, so I have to get 67 into units of z or units of standard deviation. So to do that, I'm going to calculate a z-score, which as you may recall from the last videos that we've been looking at, you take x minus mu and divide by sigma. So we have 67 minus 65 divided by 2.7. So my z-score is 0.74, which means that I'm 0.74 standard deviations above the mean. So when I do this on the curve, 0 is the center because the standardized value of mu is 0 because it's zero distance from itself. And I'm interested in the area above 0.74. So that's the direction that we're pointing at up here. So in order to find this area above 0.74, I'm gonna use the calculator's normal CDF function. So you would go second and then VARS. You want normal CDF and you want the lower bound or where the highlighting starts. So that's 0.74 and then the upper bound, or where the highlighting ends. So technically, the upper bound would end at positive infinity, but for all intents and purposes, 999 is sufficient. So because we're actually looking at standardized values, 0 and 1 are going to be used for mu and sigma, respectively, because this is the standardized curve. So just like mu is the center of the curve, its standardized value is zero because it's no distance from itself, so we have zero. And then our units for sigma are going to be, or the value of measurement for sigma is one because that would be the standardized value. So here, after we push paste in our main window, we find an area of 0.23, or in other words, the probability of having somebody with a height greater than my own so you could write that in terms of z being greater than 0.74. That's going to be 23%. So we've looked at the way to calculate probability for being below. That was the last video here. It's the probability for being above. And what you may recall from the last video is that this area was equal to 0.77. So if I wanted to, because I was at the same location, I was just at the opposite direction. I could have taken 1 minus what I already knew, that 0.77, and that would have given me the remainder or the 0.23 as well.